Hello and welcome to GLED, your geology educational channel. Today we're going to talk about igneous mineralogy or petrology. For GCC and A-level it's critical to know some of the common mineralogies. It's really helpful to understand how these rocks form and moving further on the chemistry and the behaviour of these rocks too. We're going to take five common igneous rocks, granite, peridotite, basalt, andesite and gabbro and label the minerals you'd expect to see. Firstly, granite, the same stuff a nice kitchen top is made out of. It has a coarse mineralogy of quartz, feldspar and mica. Quartz is mostly a translucent mineral. There are two common feldspars, plagioclase and orthoclase. Plagioclase is mostly white or cream, and orthoclase is mostly pink or a kind of orange pink, which often gives granite its colour. There are also two main types of micas, biotite and muscovite. These appear as dark or black flecks. This means that the granite's mineralogy is acidic or felsic, lower down the bones reaction series. Let's start to make up a table and tabulate these rocks as we go through. Granite would appear here. Basalt is at the other end of the spectrum. It's fine-grained and described as basic or mafic. Therefore, it takes minerals from a much higher point in Bones reaction series. Minerals like amphibole and pyroxene, as well as plagioclase feldspar, is common in a basalt. It's really important that you understand that when I say basic, I don't mean simple. I mean a compositional chemistry that's opposite to acidic or felsic. Basalt would therefore go here on the table. In the middle of these two is andesite, known as an intermediate rock. As a result, it is a bit of a mix of plagioclase feldspar and pyroxene, as well as biotite, mica and quartz, often too. Andesite will go here on our table. These three rocks are really good examples, or in fact the best examples, of mafic, intermediate and felsic rocks. But we can also have ultramafic rocks. These are more basic in composition than the most mafic rocks. Uh, a really important example of this is peridotite. It's important because it makes up a big part of the mantle composition. It contains olivine and pyroxene, so it's a pretty simple composition. Olivine gives it an olive green colour, so it's pretty distinct colour wise too. It will fit here on our table. Finally, gabbro. Gabbro is a rock I thought I should include because it gives a bit of context into how we classify igneous rocks. Gabbro or gabbroic rocks are coarsely grained mafic rocks. So it's very similar to basalt, but it took longer to cool, so the crystals are considerably bigger. It will go here on our table. Those five rocks are rocks that I would learn by heart, their compositions, and be familiar with what they look like too in hand specimens. 